Aaron, thank you very much indeed for joining me today. Um, that number on the surface sounds quite extraordinary. Let me go through that figure again. More than 90% of the top 50 patent holders are in China. Um, just talk us through your research. So at the Clarabay Center for IP and Innovation Research, we evaluated uh, large language model patents, but specifically the top patent holders. But what our data suggests is that we're now kind of entering into a deployment phase. So there's more than 13,000 inventions over the last decades, but, but more than that as well, that we're seeing some of those numbers double in one year alone, so from 2023 to 2024. And as you say, 90% of those top patent holders uh, come from mainland China alone. And that's particularly significant because of what it suggests about technology leadership yeah. um, and that kind of coordinated push that we see from China in terms of the space between industry and academia. Um, I, 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 in my ignorance, I would assume there are, there are patents galore obviously emanating out of China, but the key patents in the industry, bearing in mind I've just talked about a US company which has extraordinary leadership and a very big moat at the moment in uh, AI chip production as well, i.e. NVIDIA, are, are the key patents uh, being developed in China or is it just a lot of, dare I say it, for want of a better language, also ran patents? I mean, what are the, the, the most important technologies? Is the US still up there or is China pulling ahead on those as well? So what I would say is that there is definitely clear technological leadership in terms of China based on, on volume and momentum, mm. but that's not the only lens that we look at patent data through. So. When we, when we take this Clarivate data, what we also notice is, is that Western firms are incredibly selective. So they're filing fewer patents, but those patents are of much higher quality. That's exactly my point. So does this mean then there isn't something to worry about? I mean, look, if, if I took your numbers on the surface, I would be terrified about what it, not terrified, I would be concerned what it means for the West and Western companies and Western access um, to the latest technology. But you, you, what you're saying is the key patents are still being held by the US companies. Yeah, so they definitely reflect different approaches, especially when it comes to patents and kind of open source models. Uh, so we see this kind of mix of different approaches to IP. So that it might include open source, but it might all inclu also include trade secrets as well. So mm. volume is one picture, and I think quality and also the symbolic significance of some of those filings as well is equally important uh, as well. So what we might see with the West and certainly we, what we can see uh, within the data set is that there's a focus on deeper in hardware or architecture related mm -hmm. innovation and also things that are covering the end to end integration of the platform as well. Whereas China, by comparison, we might say that there's a bigger focus on the migration of LLM technologies to industry and their commercial application.